It's a rare condition this day and age. Hi, Carl. Don't you think you ought to start calling me Mr. Winslow? Yeah, that's what my parents Herb and Diane tell me. Was the Family Matters cast unhappy? The Winslow family looked fine on screen, but was there a dark secret lurking behind the show? Family Matters made everybody happy, with Steve Urkel exclaiming, Did I do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? In every scene. But there was a lot of stuff going on behind the screen. From tensions on the set to former stars of the show turning to porn, the happy Winslow family was not what it appeared to be. Did these hidden controversies take Family Matters off the air? Let us find out. Family Matters, a spinoff of Perfect Strangers, was different from most other sitcoms of the day. It had an all-black cast, and the characters were well-thought-out people. The family's father, Carl Winslow, a Chicago cop, and his wife, Harriet, were there. Everybody! <laughs> I could have sworn I locked that door. While Steve, the ultra-nerd, was from next door. Winslow's three children attracted much attention. Eddie, Laura, and their youngest, Judy. Let us look at tensions between actors, disagreements with the studio, and what unfortunate things happen to some of the cast members. Steve looks like a funny guy. Despite the appearance, was it difficult to get along with him? When Steve Urkel appeared on the show with his catchphrase, the show changed its direction. Steve was in demand, and the producers made him so prominent that there was little airtime for anyone else. Speaking to Entertainment Tonight, actress Jo Marie Payton, who played Harriet Winslow in the show, said that Steve Urkel tried to fight her physically once on the set. She felt that Jaleel White's quick ascent to stardom affected his attitude with the cast and crew. Do you remember the one time Harriet Winslow scolded Steve in the show? You better check that attitude at the door. Their relationship off screen was similar. He didn't have the etiquette that maybe I and some others had. There was one time he actually wanted to physically fight me. I was going to go in and whip his behind. I was going to whip his behind. Joe Marie said it was season nine. In the episode Original Gangster Dog, the script contained a fight scene. Being a seasoned actress... Joe Marie felt they should not do it since the standards and practices guidelines would not allow the airing of the scene. But Steve Urkel was adamant. He wanted to go ahead with the fight scene. Steve Urkel got mad and started kicking and screaming on the set, wanting to fight Joe Marie physically. She was so upset by the incident, she decided to leave the set. As she was leaving, she overheard Jaleel White commenting that she must be wanting to fight. That got her mad. Joe Marie turned around, wanting to give a good whip in the Jaleel White's back. She would have done it, but Darius McCrary, who was nearby, grabbed her. Peyton understood that Jaleel White was just a kid then, but it was a close call. He almost got whipped. Working with him was a challenge. There were some moments when he was a little difficult, but um, overall, I have nothing but good memories for, for him. Family Matters started as a Winslow family drama in 1989. But when it went off air in 1998, the show was no longer about the Winslows. Their neighbor, Steve Urkel, had taken over the show. Did the cast take the shift of change in direction well? Producers Bill Bickley and Michael Warren liked the attention Steve Urkel was drawing to the show so much, they wanted to make Family Matters all about him. At first, Steve was the super nerd from next door who had a crush on teenager Laura. The next thing you know, the rest of the cast were just props around the show, supporting Steve Urkel as he went about his scientific experiments, which went wrong. Steve Urkel later admitted that the change in focus strained his relationship with the rest of the crew. But there was no hiding who kept Family Matters live for nine years. Steve Urkel made his magic, and all the cast members benefited financially despite their differences. They receive residuals from the show even today, so all are smiling on the way to the bank. She was intelligent and beautiful, and she loved sexy nerds and suspenders. But be warned, she is clingy. Myra Monkhouse was introduced to the show as Steve Urkel's love interest, and the character developed later into his girlfriend. While she was intended to be a guest character, she became a permanent fixture of the show. Even though she was getting a lot of attention, partly due to the success of Steve Urkel, her role in the show was getting shorter and shorter. Ever wondered why? She was dying, 
not in the show, but sadly, in Myra's real life. Michelle Thomas portrayed the character Myra Monkhouse from the show's fourth season. She was a teen beauty queen and starred in The Cosby Show and several popular TV programs before moving on to Family Matters. Unfortunately, Michelle Thomas was diagnosed with a rare form of stomach cancer called desmoplastic small round cell tumor in 1997, but she kept acting in the show. She was a vegetarian and she never drank or smoked. Cancer made her body weak. Her mother once said that a sedative that was supposed to put her to sleep for 20 minutes would have her sleeping for four days. She had to take more time off from acting due to surgery she underwent in 1997 and 1998. But all the treatments and surgeries could not save her. Michelle Thomas sadly passed away at the age of 30 on December 23, 1998, five months after the show ended. Her mother said that he got in the bed with her and held her, and uh, she was gone. She was laid to rest in New Jersey after a Muslim funeral service, as per her request. Harriet Winslow didn't hang around for the show to finish. Halfway through the ninth season, she walked away, and Family Matters got a new mom. Did Joe Marie Payton get tired of playing Harriet Winslow? This is what Darius McCrary had to say about it. Man, that was hard. That was really difficult. Yeah, Joe Marie, uh, who the show was created for, technically. A lot of people don't know this, but it was a spinoff from Perfect Strangers. She left the show just because of differences with the producers. But like I said, who am I to tell these people what they're going to do with their show? Even if you created it for me. She left because of, of, of several differences, and she was replaced by a wonderful actress. It was well known that Harriet Winslow, played by Joe Marie Payton, was upset about the changes in the show and the unexplained disappearance of Judy Winslow from the show in the fourth season. And clearly, Harriet Winslow did not like how the show centered on its star, Steve Urkel, much. Though she had wanted to leave for several years, Harriet Winslow had signed an eight-year contract, and the studio was not letting her go. But Joe Marie, who played Harriet Winslow, took advantage of a clause in the contract which allowed her to leave after the first half of season nine had been recorded. And CBS had no option but to replace the Winslow family mom hastily with Judy Ann Elder. Imagine adapting to seeing a new mom in your favorite sitcom after nine years. Judy, didn't I ask you to straighten up in here? Yeah. Well, you meant today? Why did they fire Judy from the show? In one episode, Judy Winslow went upstairs but never returned to the show. She simply disappeared, and the cast never spoke about her. It was as if she had never been there and never mattered. But her fans are still waiting. Judy was the youngest in the Winslow family and cast as a nine-year-old struggling for school grades and parents' attention. But she was never on the sidelines. Judy got fired to make more airtime for Steve Urkel. Her character was not given less time, which usually happens in such a case when the characters evolve in a changing series. It was true that Steve Urkel was stealing the show, becoming such an icon that everyone else was playing second fiddle. But Judy was just let go. She simply disappeared, like she did not matter at all. And the producers expected the audience not to miss her character, as everybody would be so busy watching Steve Urkel destroy the Winslow house with his antics. And her life had never been the same. So what happened to Judy after the Family Matters let go of her? She went to do a photo shoot at 19, thinking she would be in a bikini and dancing around. But it was the beginning of her adult movie career. She recalled her experience later. Me being just wanting to make some money, wanting to be in the limelight, we went down to the video shoot, and it was a man with a female, and they were, you know, engaging in sex. Would the little girl you came to love as Judy go on to become a porn star if she was not fired from the show? After a hugely successful journey, Family Matters ended on July 17, 1998. Many say that with the ill-advised time slot change CBS Network did, the bottom fell out of Family Matters. Should there be a reboot of Family Matters? What are your thoughts?